Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign as Tunis, Tunisian thievery. Imports compete with Tunisian quality goods. Ah, oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I don't care. Portugal uh, just took a whole bunch of land from Mali. Dude, Portugal, stop it, man. You got, you're too strong, I don't like it, and you've got allies that I don't like. Lithuania, Riga, France, I don't like it. Aragon? Are you still protected by your allies right now? Of course you are. Five reasons with Austria. If Austria continues to lose their war with France, now might be a great opportunity. Burgundy is currently weak. And uh, I'm assuming hates France. Looking for the opinion map mode. Damn it, where the hell is it? There it is. French attitude is neutral. Burgundy is outraged by France. Okay, well Burgundy could probably still get military access through France. We attack Aragon, and uh, it's just it's just Burgundy and, and Aragon. Aragon's on tech 20, so we gotta get to caught up caught up on military tech. We'll stay focused on military tech for a while. We're 44.3% of the way to through integrating this guy. Jerusalem has unrest. There they go. Speak of the devil. And uh, discontent, I think, is about to expire naturally, of course. Discontent goes away in uh, <laughs> November. All right, fine. Where's the Eighth Army? All right, we'll risk death again. Put ourselves in charge of this thing, and we'll raise maintenance up to full. Should have at least one one recovery tick here. Oh yeah, easy. Twenty-four in the front row. have to go in now. Okay, if you could go ahead and, uh, you know, just finish this siege sometime today, that'd be cool. I didn't turn on the infantry combat modifier yet, but, uh, I lost 11,000 infantry to take care of that. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, unrest is still there in another location. We've got the Tunisian particular in Sousse, Agadir, Crete, all kinds of places right now. And we got the Alodi Separatists in Beja. It's these two down here. Okay. I'll spread out and go down to there for now. Get that one down. And the Tunisian particular should go away as soon as we end up with the... Uh, the uh, thing. The... What's it called? There's a thing. Discontent expiring in November. Hopefully that doesn't fire. Shouldn't. Neither of them should, in fact. Finally, after 500 and some ridiculous number of days, this damn level 5 mountain fort. How did you afford this, Yemen? I don't understand how you did this. You're such a little bastard. I don't even care about Hassa. He won't do anything. Whatever. And neither will you because of the other guy. Great. Thanks a lot, Hassa. Crap, just hit the points gap. Well, I guess we gotta take admin tech now, right? I don't want to buy down inflation, don't need to do anything else, so... Yeah, I mean, we're at 72, it's, it's decent enough, we're getting a little bit of a discount. Take it, and look at that, we're actually ahead of time. Holy crap, we're one year ahead of time, we get 20% extra production efficiency and more yearly corruption reduction. However, that was also bad, because now we're really ahead on Diplo tech. Like, two techs ahead of, of Diplo. Part of the issue is that I'm still, I'm generating six points per month and we're still consuming, well, we were consuming some. Never mind, his capital's occupied, that's what's going on right now. We have more states available than I know what to do. I have ten territories. Oh, right, the new Syrian holdings, forgot about those. Alright, this one could give us... No real improvement. This one, probably the same. That one is decent enough, and I know I'm going to want that territory, so sure. Same thing with that one. Oh, yeah. Should have done that a while ago. Oh, 
Wow. Two ducats a month just from doing that? I'll take it. And we still have plenty of state slots available. The other little crap territories I don't really want to do. Okay. Alright, so this is all good. These are all part of estates that we will want to expand into at some point. I never did get Syrian to become an accepted culture, unfortunately. Syrian is at 16... No, that's not true. Syrian is accepted. It will be now, now that I've just done what I did. Derp. Greek is at 8.4%. It's currently accepted. It can't go below 5. So we need to occasionally take a look at this culture map mode. And just, you know, make sure that we continue to expand in that area here. Discontent is gone, and Syrian is now accepted. And apparently Turkish is now accepted as well. Cool. See no reason not to core those. Ottomans, if you make me discontent again, I will murder you. Really hard. Like, a lot. He's willing to surrender now. Alright, full annexation going to me, cost me points. This needs to get transferred to Hijaz. And he's willing to do it still. Good. Okay, goodbye. Burn out peace. Estates are, of course, going to demand control of territory. I don't want to grant generalship right now. Raising levy is not necessary right now. Asking for a contribution sounds pretty sweet. Hiring an Inquisitor. It's completely doable right now. What do we have right now? We have a yearly inflation guy still. Yeah, I'd say, I mean, we got a little bit of land to convert. Not to mention I wouldn't mind getting their, their stuff up a little bit. Alright, B9. The Emirs need land. The Ulema need land. Provinces that are not our religion, preferably. The religious map mode is O. What do we have that's the wrong religion? Down here? You know what? Fine. Just turn them into states, even if they're not that good. We'll grant this to the clergy. They still need more, though. And there's more land that's not the right religion. So we got some Catholic Cadiz and Sevilla. Cadiz. Already owned by people. Say what? Let's revoke this from them. Give it to the clergy instead. Takes them high enough. And then this new land up here we'll give to the Emirs. Because this is all the right religion already. Preferably land that has like high manpower in it. If we have any that are, like, stupid high manpower, that'd be cool. Not really. Almost there. That'll do. Okay. Everything looks solid. We just raise additional levies and let them take in the right direction. I don't think we're going to get above 60% loyalty, so I guess so, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we have 800 gold now. Wow, we have 800 gold now. How do we have 800 gold now? I'm confused. I don't have any loans. I mean, I know we've been making money, but come on. Where'd all this money come from? Do we want to attack Oman? Get our piety back up to 100. Also, do we want to switch over to the missionary strength guy? I think yes. 
And let's get these conversions just knocked out stupid fast. On the other hand, Ethiopia has no allies. I think I'd rather attack Ethiopia. Plus, that'll free up this troop, finally. I think a big part of it might just be that I increased my net income from doing all that stuff. Okay, we've got some 100% autonomy provinces. Jesus. How on earth is it at 100%? Why 100%? That is so high. Man. It's crazy. 20 development at 100%, nearly 100% autonomy. Sweet. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give this away to somebody else just because just then. For now. Both of these ones that are really, really high. Then we got a bunch of others that are at like 60. That's probably all the land that we integrated from Syria. But I'm kind of concerned about lowering autonomy here because I, I just have this feeling that we're going to end up with... Uh, Discontent again. But tell you what, it's negative unrest un un right now. I'm gonna go for it. That will do for now. This one's, like, what, three development? It's not worth it. Still, uh, our income situation should be in a much better position now. We are in third place. We're ahead of Vigianagar. Cool. And we've passed Portugal a while ago. I need Diplotech, please. Those conversions are going quick now. Nice. And as soon as our maintenance is up to full and these guys are fully reinforced, good to go. 5.41 out of a maximum of 5.41. Looks like we are ready to declare our war. We will grab you and get our piety. Oh, we still have a truce with you. So September. Well, in that case, we're just feeding Halib. Sorry, not Halib. Hejaz. We'll give him four more provinces or whatever. Of course, the more I feed him, the more I'm going to fall behind on, on Diplo points. And I'm really far behind on Diplo points right now. Mr. Papal State Man. How about you stop trying to protect him? Papal State has war exhaustion. Papal State is at peace. Hmm. Austria will not protect Aragon. Aragon is fighting France. France is winning. There are 45,000 Netherlands army troops in that location. Wait. Aragon has 10,000 men to his name. Yeah. Reconquest of Catalonia, that's what has to happen right now. This is considered to be glorious in the eyes of God as well. Uh, reconquest is the, the whole deal. Definitely reconquest for Catalonia. Go. And we'll grab the 3-4 and we will march on whatever fort we can get our hands on. Don't think we need to be, worry about fort maintenance right now. These guys don't really need to be here, do they? No. So, let's bring them up to... Is there a fort there? No. We'll ferry them over to Almeria using the transports. I don't think Aragon even has a navy right now. It's got two heavies. Well, all my heavies died, so... Oh, he's already got troops there. What's this French war? Attack against Austria, the French conquest. Oh, it's the French conquest of Vaud. That I did, didn't even notice that for a while there. Let's fabricate a little bit more on Castile because I do plan on attacking him soon. Unless Catalonia got that final claim, he can't reach that one. So I've got to take Gibraltar. Okay. Well, uh, here goes inspiring victory. France still has a larger army than me. Damn it, he he went up to 119. I had a feeling I was forgetting something.
That'll take me up to 120. That should be good for now. This army shirt certainly arrived quickly. Oh, never mind. <laughs> God. Losing my mind, man. I was like, wow, they came from, from the Ottoman area really fast. <laughs> Yeah, because they didn't at all. Not even close. So, we're at 100 piety, which is pretty sweet. Our conversion speed is uh, pretty sweet. It's 5.7 per month. Cheers to the Ethiopia just expired. Do we really need to declare another war right this second? Probably not. Let's just wait. Nothing really stopped me from teching up on admin. I'm not even going to draft ships for war. So France will probably separate piece Aragon and knock out maybe one of his allies or something. Damn, we just got kicked out at 70. Like, we're almost to 100 there. What are you doing hopscotching these islands, man? You're crazy. I mean, it's just, it's just downright silly what you're doing. Oh, you actually landed down there. My bad. Yeah, France just took war reps and 910 gold. Jeez. Alright, well, time for me to start marching on these things now. There's our thriving arms industry. Got to fight the Brittany army. Brittany is on tech 20, I'm on tech 19. Aragon is on tech 20 as well. Thriving's, thriving arms industry just ended. Sophia. It's probably owned by the Ottomans? No, it's actually Bohemia. Bohemia would pull in a bunch of little tiny guys, but Bohemia was pretty strong earlier. They're also on tech 21. We avoid that for now. Ottomans are trying to defecate on me. Good luck, sir. There is Aragon's army. He's actually got an army. Most of it looked like it was owned by Brittany, though. Where are you going, sir? Lose the Statesman or lose Prestige? Well, I kind of need the Statesman to integrate, don't I? If I don't have the Statesman, we're not even integrating at all. But, we're paying full price for this guy, so... I wouldn't mind picking somebody else up for now. Sure, go ahead. Leave. I'll take the level 1 guy right now. I need the points, but at the same time, I kind of want to just make some money. Ah, uh, this is my better general. We got 15 in the front row. No cav. I think we gotta kind of consolidate in on this, don't we? We already have 6 siege status here, though. I'd like to maintain that if I can. That is suddenly a lot of men that are reinforcing, isn't it? Why, yes, yes it is. We'll be there on the 23rd. Six days? We're not going to hold out for six days. We're already locked, though, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're gone. Alright, this siege is not going to happen anymore. We don't want to be here either. Let's all like the whole army. Hide the navy. He is blockading me. Uh, maybe we want to grab another army. We say. That's 75,000 men down here. Uh, we don't need that many. Tell you what, you guys come up to here. You guys come all the way up to Oran. We just have a Regency Council. Awesome. A 201 Regency Council, in fact. 
And I think I was using, uh, was I using my leader? No, I was not. Good. So at least we didn't lose the two stab, but... Ugh. That was not cool. Fortunately, we're our own land, so we should be able to recover really quickly here. We have a fort defense guy, which is okay. Discipline guy would be really expensive. We also kind of need to tech up, still. At least getting equal equal on tech, tech whatever it is would be pretty nice. Suddenly, that's a sizable army. France kind of pieced out at a time that was not not ideal for me. Well, one of my advantages is siege speed, so. He probably has the same thing, though, come to think of it. Five offensive, yeah. Let them suffer some attrition. Hopefully they go after that level 4 fort now. It's still Drylands, which is unfortunate for me, but... My army is larger. We can march across. Combat width is still 30, right? 32 now. So why don't we just employ... Uh... The thing is, my cav are pretty damn good. I think we do want to use whatever cav we can. So if 32 combat width, let's just take the most damaged infantry and everyone else, and we go. I should consolidate these guys in. That is four regiments. So let's grab four more from here. Get rid of the big guy. Combine. Uh, shift consolidate. Still have a few. Let's go do this. And you can retreat back to my own land. Alright. I mean, it would have been probably smarter. Oh, tech. Yep. Need that tech. It gives me a better cannon. I don't want to change it right this second, but... We got stuff. He's rolling pretty well, but we're rolling better at the moment. He's got... Rough. We have more cannons than he does. And, uh... Oh, wait. Combat with his 34. Hold on, what? Oh, right, I just took the tech, obviously. It must have increased it by two. Derp. Take that! Suck it! Huh? Nice. March on his capital? Yeah, probably. Or we can stay in our own land and try to recover some troops here real quick. It's a level 5 fort, so it's slightly obsolete. Um... Yeah, I think we gotta start trying to work on his fort. And at the same time, I also want to kill some of his guys. On by the 12th, we're there on the 10th. No, we're on the- yes, we're on the 10th. How did that- yep. Yeah. Two infantry. That's how that didn't end up being a stack wipe. 25 ships there, two heavies. I'm not gonna try to blockade it. We gotta take the Diplotech, because we're starting to really feel the pain here. Just gonna take it now. To get the corruption effect down. I'm not gonna take Admin Tech 21, because it's just gonna cause me to take that same penalty again. There is a fort there, damn it. Rats. And it's level six. Ugh. New cannons. Alright, excellent. Well, I think we're in a good spot. We're gonna win this war. I feel pretty confident. Uh we have way more men than they do. And uh there shouldn't really be any issue here. But before we do that, let's take a break. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.